I was like, where's the camera on this side? I can't see. Oh, I've been looking at the wrong side the entire bloody time. Excellent. Hello folks. Welcome back to another video with me, Stephanie Canada, the owner of Backroom Finds. I'm passionate about vintage sewing and never taking myself too seriously to make fun of myself. If that sounds like your kind of dog park, Make sure you click that subscribe button, being sure to turn on that bell for post notifications. In today's video, we are going to be delving into the realms of Pinterest, my friends. Yes, that lovely aesthetic goal for everyone. I am only a vague user of this platform, so it's not really something that I go into a whole lot. Now recently I have gotten a lot of questions about where one finds free sewing patterns. After the whole vintage wiki video, which if you haven't checked that one out, please feel free to pop on over. I'll tell you exactly why that is not a place for free patterns. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to delve into the realms of Pinterest and attempt to find actual free print off sewing patterns. Not like I'm probably going to use them because sewing pattern purist here, I like the real things. And the chances of me finding anything that's even remotely vintage or could pass for it are slim to none. So I guess you could say this is really a Pinterest versus Stephanie situation because I don't use this all that often and um, the chances of me not knowing how to do this are really high. So let's grab our coffees and get diving into the internet now, shall we? So in today's video, we have two goals. The first up is going to be, can I find a sewing pattern that is modern that is actually free and print offable. And the second goal for this video is going to be doing the exact same thing, but trying to find a vintage pattern. <laughs> Hello and welcome friends. Uh, if things look a little different, that would be because my camera has the big one. So I'm now recording on my cell phone. Yeah, and uh, here we go. Let's just, you know what? We're just gonna pretend that didn't exist and we're gonna dive into Pinterest now, shall we? www.pinterest.com Hey, there it is, Pinterest. So after clicking on free sewing patterns, the very first thing that catches my eye is an impressive 4,000 free sewing patterns. So of course, that's the one I'm going with. Let's do this, shall we? All right. Uh, um, Pinterest, how does one, do I click here? Do I click there? Um, what happens if I click here? Oh no, nope, 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 that's wrong. Okay, good, that's wrong. Let's go there. Hey, that's the one we wanted. While scrolling through this impressive claim, I did notice that there were a couple categories that are available. However, I am going to stick with the clothing section. All right, uh, add, don't click any of those. All right. Well, yeah, it is summer. Let's let's go into summer dress patterns. Let's see what we got here. All right. If you're a beginner, well, I technically am. Um, zip front lemon dress. Is that like a color lemon cut? No, let's not. Let's just go with gathered dress. That uh, that sounds close enough to my aesthetic that I could pull that off, right? With this first link, it took me to madeitonmonday.com, which was a lovely blog tutorial. However, we weren't looking for a tutorial, we wanted the actual pattern to be able to print off. But let's let's scroll on down and see what else we got. Also, I'm sorry if I keep looking at the screen, not at the camera, I'm still figuring this out. So after I was done scrolling through her lovely blog post and seeing how she put together her dress, I scrolled to the comments because, well, that's where the best and the worst of society lives on the internet. Yeah. Okay, so there's someone. I can't find the pattern. Did you do this thing or do it yourself? There is no reply. So excellent. Okay, so I see no pattern here. It's a tutorial. Great, but no pattern. So strike one for the modern day. And unfortunately, take two wasn't much better. It was a flapper style dress. Oh, sure. Why not flapper style? Not flapper style, but whatever. It's fine. It's like Halloween flapper. It's cool. That was two thrifted items sewn together, and while cute, not what I was looking for in the specific sense of a free sewing pattern. Moving on. I don't know. Color block? Yeah, sure, I'll look at it. 
This next attempt took me to mollysews.com, where I found color block v-neck dress with free pattern. In the right direction now, friends. To get it, click your preferred option below to get the free pattern only as a newsletter subscriber or buy the digital pattern for $2. Now, that being said, I did find, I'm scrolling down a little farther. On the pattern, you'll find a diagram for the skirt, but she does give this diagram, which means you could basically do it yourself, uh, with all the measurements here. But does she give the bodice? No. So if you wanted to use the skirt, technically she gave you that for free, but not the bodice, unless you sign up for her newsletter. All right, so I'm gonna say that's also not a free pattern because there's still something you have to give to the person, either money in the form of $2, or you have to just go ahead and sign up for her newsletter. So strike three on the pattern hunt. Next up, I tried another entry by Make It On Monday. However, again, it was a tutorial, but this one advised you use an old tank top as a quote, pattern to start their dress pattern from. All right, so another lovely tutorial, but not what we're looking for. Also, where's the camera on this side? I can't see. Oh, I've been looking at the wrong side the entire bloody time. Excellent. After that revelation, I opted to shove my embarrassment down my throat and continue forward, starting to look at the subtitles on the links, aka the blog authors or landing pages, instead of the dress styles. This led me to Merrick's art, which had a vague line drawing situation going on, but no pattern per se. That the line drawing, I guess, but there was no blocks, so you couldn't even have transferred it for her size to your size. Not a free pattern. Next up, I tried one by Dandelion Drift with a very broken link. Loading, loading, loading. Keep them pages loading, rawhide. Ooh, just gonna sip our coffee while we wait. All right, I'll just sit there and let it load a little bit longer. All right, uh, we're gonna move on a little bit and see if there's anything else. Craftsy, let's try Craftsy. The triangle maxi dress looked very promising. All right, get the tri triangle maxi dress pattern here. Click. Oh, 531.20 was the last day for Blueprint will be taking orders. We can figure out what Learn More is. Oh, so their entire website is done. So basically, this might have been a free pattern at some point, but because the website is gone, no longer. See, the dandelion? Nope. And could not be reached. At this point, I was beginning to wonder if I would ever find a free sewing pattern, but I wasn't going to give up so easily. I tried one by Live Free Creative next which did give you clear measurements, cutting guide, and tutorial for her Texas summer drawstring waist box dress. But it still doesn't fit into my specific need of a printable sewing pattern. So I'm gonna head back to the main page and give it one more go. Ooh, Grecian sundress. That, that's more my, my, I could get behind that. I hope that's supposed to be like an optional two-size thing and not one side is short and one side is long because that I cannot get behind. <laughs> no, okay, she in in either length. Okay, good. That's that's much better. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. An easy fitting sundress instructions. Yes, that is an honest to goodness pattern that you just print off. Well, for U.S. letter because I'm in the U.S. Oh, oh my, oh dear, that's a lot, there's a lot happening there. Oh, oh, it's because I'm an idiot and I don't normally do PDF patterns, can you tell? And this is her layout telling you how to lay them all together. Never mind, slightly less confused now. All right, and then it's a multi-size. So this, this is truly something you could just print out. I've been told by those wiser than I that I'm supposed to be looking for some type of block to help line all this up and some type of like one inch marker or some denotation of size so that way you can tell if your printer is off. All right, wait, 19 looks like it might have what I'm looking for. 
Okay, here it is. On page 19, there's a four inch by four inch square. So I guess you'd have to go in, print off page 19 first, make sure that your block is four by four, and then move on. This is great. This is the very first real pattern that you can just print off yourself. So hooray, they do actually exist. And this one's kind of cute. So we've definitely found a couple tutorials that if you can learn like this, then cool, but that's not really what we were going for with the leading heading of 4,000 free sewing patterns. So we found a couple broken links, some downed websites, and only actual one that you can print off and do it and like cut it out as an actual pattern. Let's make this harder now, shall we? Let's do some vintage. All right, so let's do free vintage sewing patterns. <laughs> she cackles because she probably knows this isn't going to be a thing. All right, we're going to do a different website this time. Here we go. Va Va Voom Vintage. Okay, great. And now I've learned where to click. Good learning. I'm so glad I can learn Pinterest at the ripe old age of middle 30s. All right, 30 plus free 1950s sewing patterns. That's what I love. Let's do this. I'm in. Now the header said 30 plus free 1950s sewing patterns. And as I read further, the claim changed from vintage to vintage style. Did it say vintage style? No. It said 1950s sewing patterns. So in my brain, as a vintage sewing pattern person, I'm thinking that someone has gone in and done something with a 1950s pattern to make it digital and that I am now going to get it for free. That is what that initially says to me not vintage style not how to take a modern pattern and do it vintage so let's see what we got here okay so we all know and love gertie let's see if it actually takes us to her free pattern or not so again i guess you could get the free sewing pattern but again it's a sign in or register to download situation so you're you're selling your information for this pattern all right diy vintage dress from my curly projects let's try that one while this is a very 1950s style dress, this was another tutorial and not a printed pattern. However, her instructions were very clear for the skirt, but the bodice involved you having a preferred bodice pattern pieces already, or a shirt that fit you well that you could pattern off of. Which is a, a well-known, like, if you don't have X, use Y situation. But again, not a free pattern. It's a free tutorial and like DIY on the fly situation. The next on the list was a Gertie pattern from Joann's, which I had already excluded from this hunt. So down farther was the Sewing Bee Fabric link and surprise. So they put the wrong link for the second one. So we won't be able to find out about uh, the second one. So continuing forth in my scrolling journey, I discovered, oh, 50s Marilyn inspired halter dress, website in Russian. I'm gonna do it. Oh, mercy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Google Translate. Yes, please. Let's, once you wake up here, English. So maybe you could download at your own risk from a Russian website. A free pattern I value my computer a little too much to do that so we're not gonna after passing by the Russian option my next option was a mood pattern which I had already decided to exclude from this hunt the following pattern however looked very promising Vavum vintage also fun bullet bra that could be a fun project so your own vintage bullet bra free pattern and sew along cool after clicking into the day one tab, I was both pleased and saddened. While it did indeed look to be a free pattern, it came only in two sizes, C or double D slash E cups, neither of which is close to my size, but I decided to still move forward since the goal was free pattern, not necessarily free pattern that fits me. But let's see, let's see what we get when we click into it just for giggles. Once I had clicked the link, I was redirected to Dropbox, where I was shown how to download the bullet bra pattern. There was a terms of use section of this website, which I'm not sure how that works with a website that has a free download, but hey, more power to the maker, I guess. Okay, but yeah, this, this is honestly a downloadable pattern. There are things, you print them out, huzzah. 
I'm going to download it just for giggles. All right, so this this truly is a, an honest to goodness pattern. Although I don't see any instructions. I guess that's what her sew along is for. Okay, so no, so you would have to then come back here and kind of do her sew along, which is fair. But that actually, that's a free pattern. I just downloaded a bra pattern. Hey, and it's actually 1950s, cuts the bullet bra. That won't be a terrifying thing to try and make. No, not at all. Did we find the vintage one earlier than we found that <laughs> the modern one? Oh my. So now I had successfully downloaded a bra pattern, but I was hoping to find a dress like I had in the modern section. So I did keep going. The next option on the list was a draft your own towel dress situation. It was from a flyer that you would have been given in the 1950s, so it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Okay, now this is interesting. 1950s halter dress and cape shrug from Mrs. Depew. Being in the pattern world, I know Mrs. Depew, at least through Facebook. And I was surprised to learn that she was offering this one for free. Her style is a draft at home system. So you'd end up with a free pattern, but you do have to do it yourself from home. However, she does charge $5 for her ruler so that you can make it up at home unless you have a system already at place at home. But the upside is her rulers can go up to a bus size 60, which even I didn't know. So bonus for the voluptuous vintage lovers in the house. This is actually a free pattern, but it is a draft it yourself pattern. My final thoughts on the Pinterest free pattern search. While I was able to find many useful tutorials, actual free patterns were much harder to find. I was only able to find one modern dress, one vintage style bra, and one vintage dress. I do think it is possible to find these free patterns out there, but is it worth the time that you're going to take to click through all of these sites? Personally, I don't think so, but I will let you decide that of your own volition, whether or not you think going through all of these sites to find yourself a free pattern is worth your time. Come with me, friends. Okay. Eh. Well, this is new and exciting. I want to thank y'all so much for joining me today on this journey of delving into Pinterest and checking out whether or not free patterns were actually free. If you did like this video, please make sure to click that like button. And if you want to see more from me and my adventures, make sure you click that subscribe button, being sure to turn on that bell for post notifications. I apologize, a few of the, these might actually be on cell phones from here on out, but hopefully I'll figure out a way to make it slightly steadier. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. See y'all next time. If that sounds like your d good time, dog of... Uh, d wow, where did my brain go? It vanished. T in today's video, we are going to be... Wow. Struggling. What was that? <laughs> Straight struggle. That was like octave higher than necessary. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I could click the free sewing patterns. Obviously. Sure, let's try that. Uh, and it takes me to the exact same screen. Great. Love that. This is This is why I don't do this. I'm gonna look real awesome. No shade, of course. I'm gonna put something on this so I don't, so I can stop shaking, because I'm shaking. I don't know why. There we go. Is that better?